Welcome to Vacuum Wars and to my best spot cleaner video for 2021. I bought six of the best selling spot cleaners and put them through all kinds of tests to find out which one was the best and why. I thought this was going to be a simple video to make, but it ended up being really complex. Apparently, I have a lot to say about spot cleaners. So links in the description and let's get started. First, the basics. Spot cleaners are mini carpet cleaners made for cleaning small spots like pet stains. They all work the same basic way, which is by filling their water tank with hot water mixed with their included solution. Their handles have a trigger where you can control the spray of that solution and you manually scrub the stain with the brush while the suction port on the front of the brush sucks up the liquid. I like spot cleaners because they are very manual. What I mean is that if you really want a particular spot clean on your carpet, a carpet machine is often too general. These spot cleaners are more specific. They allow you to apply the solution right where you need it and to scrub right where it needs to be scrubbed for as long as it takes to clean that spot. They're also popular with auto detailers for for the same reasons. I took all the data from all the tests and measurements and put them into a spreadsheet and gave them points for each category. So I will first go over the categories I looked at with some brief commentary about some things I thought were interesting and then pick a winner. First, the power. I was surprised to see that there was so much variation with the suction power of these six units. They all have different amp motors, but I also measured their suction power at the hose in inches of water lift and at their intake with a digital manometer. All three metrics told the same basic story, which was that the most powerful one was the Rug Doctor, followed by the Bissell Spot Clean Pet Pro, with the other four being more or less close to one another. I looked at the quality of the hose. Some of them have, for example, a kink-proof hose, where the Rug Doctor and the Little Green did not. I also measured the hose length and what I called hose management, which was how well it fit into its holders and how well it felt using it. I did the same thing with cords. I measured them and gave them scores based on their quality. I weighed each one without water for a weight score. I measured the amount of water they could hold in their tanks. I measured how loud they were from a given distance. I gave them a few extra points if they came with additional attachments other than their main brush. I gave them points based on how cheap or expensive they were. I gave them extra points if they had some kind of additional feature like the Pro Heat feature or the Spot Bot feature, which I'll go over in a minute. I also looked extensively at their online reviews, especially looking for quality control issues, which I will also have a lot to say about in a minute. Then of course there was the cleaning tests. Here I used the exact same mixture of the exact same cleaning solution for each machine, which I freshly made for each test to control the water temperature. For the dry stains, I used exact amounts of Georgia Red Clay, Grape Juice, and V8 Juice, all mixed into the test area for the same amount of time, and let to dry for two days. I then scrubbed each of the three sets with the same pattern. Two wet passes with one dry pass, eight wet passes with two dry passes, and finally a one and a half minute timed scrubbing. I also tested them with wet stains by pouring the same amount of grape juice on a light colored carpet and scrubbing for one minute and measuring things like visible stains and the amount of water that was left. With regard to the stain tests, there wasn't all that much variation between these six. Like I said earlier, these spot cleaners are very manual. It's all about how much elbow grease you want to put into it. And while suction power did play a role, especially with the wet tests, it had much more to do with the way that I scrubbed. For example, the Rug Doctor, which I think has a very large and awkward brush, did not do very good on the dry stain test, but I really only got the hang of how to scrub with that large brush toward the end of the test. Also take the Bissell Spot Clean Pet Pro. It did just about average on the initial dry stain test, but in the second dry test, after I got a little bit better at my scrubbing technique, I was able to completely and totally remove the two toughest dry stains in the same one and a half minutes. Basically, after four days of testing these things, in terms of cleaning, I think they can all do the same basic job if you learn how to use them correctly. Another note is that I really wanted to like the Bissell Spot Bot. It has the same hose and scrubbing ability as the other Others, but it also has this feature where you place it over the stain and it runs for three to six minutes while it scrubs the stain automatically. The first time I tested it, it was just about perfect and I was ready to declare it the winner despite it scoring pretty low on pretty much every test I talked about earlier. But I continued to test it and found that it was not consistent at all. The area that it cleaned was actually kind of small and off center, which was really hard to gauge. It also tended to leave the area pretty wet. Again, I really wanted this to 
be the solution to the spot cleaning thing. But the more I tested it, the more I felt it was just too unreliable. And that if I really needed the job done, I needed to scrub it myself. I also found that it had some quality control issues, like a leaking tank, probably due to the seal material seemingly failing. That brings me to my next gripe, which is quality control. I read the reviews of all six of these and found that with about half of them, there were pretty consistent reports of machines that leaked or where their sprayer wouldn't spray or they just stopped working after a couple months. And I experienced a bit of this myself. The Hoover Spotless, which is by far the cheapest one I tested here, the sprayer didn't work out of the box. I did all the troubleshooting issues, but it never worked. I bought another one and while its sprayer worked, the dirty water tank leaked on the carpet, which sort of defeats the purpose. So my pick for the best spot cleaner of 2021 is the Bissell Spot Clean Pet Pro. It was consistently ranked at the top with all the quality and ease of use issues. It has the second most suction power of any on the list, the biggest tank, the longest cord. As I said, it completely cleaned the toughest stains I threw at it. It was very good with wet stains with all that suction. It was the only one that came with an additional tool for wet stains, which contains the liquid in a separate container, which keeps it from making the machine dirty. And it did seem to have very satisfied customers from everything I could tell. However, you might want to take a chance with the Bissell SpotBot or the Hoover Spotless. As I said, they have their issues, but overall their reviews are pretty good and did pretty good with my results as well, despite all the issues I noted. Links in the description to all six in the order that I ranked them, and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars before you leave. Thanks for watching.